All right, so we've got neighbors. Well, that was easy, right? Nothing really crazy going on there until we add that authentication. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add our neighbor statement. There we go. We need to add that over here on R2. Grab his address. Put in the password. And debug BGP. Clear the neighbor. And notice now we're getting a bad authentication digest. This is the issue that we run into with that ASA in the path. No message digest from 45.2, even though we know it's configured. Of course, we're not going to neighbor up here where we're doing our debug, but we did see that that neighbor was removed. And so obviously this is a problem. So let's get to work on our ASA. First thing that we're going to do is create a TCP map. And we can call this whatever we like. And see all the options that we have inside here. We're going to be particularly interested in TCP options. And we're going to use the range command so we can pick option 19. So it's a range, so we have to do 19 twice. So the range is only option 19. And then we're going to say that we want to allow this. So we have our TCP map. That's element number one. The second thing that we're going to do is create a class map to match on BGP, but we'll use an access list to match that. And we're going to do this in both directions. So looking at that port as the source or the destination. Match that access list BGP. So, so far what we've done is we've created a TCP map that's going to allow option 19. We created an access list that's going to match on BGP traffic in either direction. And we have created a class map to reference that ACL. Now we're going to create a policy map. And we reference the class map. We're going to set connection, advanced options, and then we're going to enter that BGP TCP map. And then we're also going to set connection, advanced options, actually not advanced options, just set connection. And we're going to say random sequence number disable. Okay, so let's do a show run policy map. And in a nutshell, this is what we've done. We've created a policy map called BGP that's going to reference the class BGP, which will identify BGP traffic based on that ACL that we created. We are telling it when we see that BGP traffic, do not randomly sequence the TCP segments and set the connection advanced options using this BGP TCP map, which says to allow option 19. Now this is not applied anywhere yet. So we could apply this to the interface or we could have done something a little different. If we didn't want to apply this to an interface, we could have actually gone in here to policy map global policy and we could have applied the class BGP inside there. So I'll show you what that'll look like if we wanted to do it that way. So it would look like that. Or we could have done a service policy and then given it a name and then put it on an interface inside or outside or both actually is where we should have done this. I'm not going to do that. I'll just leave it applied to the global. So let's do a show service policy. And let's take a look at our BGP. Here's our BGP options. And you'll notice in here, no options cleared. And look at R2. Let's see, R1. Actually, the neighbors now come up. So after we had a bad auth for a while, that neighbors come up. Once we applied that map there. Take a look at our connection table, and of course we can see now that we have that TCP session established. So not really difficult to work with, but there may be cases where BGP needs to be authenticated, it needs to establish, and we want to make sure that we can do that through an ASA as well.